It's Ginny Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another acrylic pour. Um, I've just been having some fun this week doing some different uh, shapes on my canvas or just using shapes as guides. So I am going to try this hexagon. I'm just using it as a shape. So what I'm going to do is I've got this um, 60 by 30 canvas. I've prepared my canvas with the tape on the bottom, and the push pins and the stretcher pegs. I have got a little video that I put out because I have so many people asking me what I use. So I put a video out. I am um, going to use this hexagon because I would like to do kind of two lots of flower poses but only in the he hexagon hexagon gonical so I'm going to say oh let me just try and use this as a marker hey so if I got it there about there I'm not doing it perfect I, I am absolutely not the one that's got to get it all perfect so these are the acrylic markers, the jewel tip. So they've got a thin end and a fat end, and I've just been having a really good time with them this week, just using them for different things. So I'm going to trace my hexagon. Is it hexagon or no? Whatever it is, there. Let's see if I can get another one in. Oh, look. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. I'm only going to push it in about the same. Yeah, about there. So I'm just using my hexagon as my... Shh. It's just a guide. It's not... I probably completely go over this. I'm not sure, but it's just a guide. And as um, was pointed out to me, you should probably always do your shape a lot smaller than you actually want so you hide this which is what I'll do because I'm only going to have a little bit of negative space but I am going to have some negative space and I'm going to try to keep it in that shape so even when I finish doing the pour I can always use this again and rehash that and then I could block that completely in. in fact I could do that before you know I might not I could not paint the outside whatsoever and you could use that but anyway that's for another idea for another day so let's get into this particular pour I have colors already made up my pouring medium is in the drop down box um, and I think that's all I need to tell you at the minute I'll just go along and and tell you what I've done with the paints as I work along. So this was just white paint and I added some of the dark sea which is one of my favourite. I can make up so many different colours out of that. I did mean for it to be a bit, little bit lighter but it didn't turn out as such. So it's just pouring a bit because this is going to be my negative space if I end up with any the way I'm going I'll probably uh, won't but I'll just try and that's all you do just try if it doesn't work out to plan but you still get something that you're happy with then it's a win a win-win all right I will grab my bigger uh, offset spatula and a small one to spread this uh, already I've gone and on over the lines but that doesn't matter like I said I'm only using it as a guide I'm not too worried about the edges at this moment in time because I will use my fingers to do my edges so let's try and see if I can get this just got to get some paint on it And it maybe it maybe would be easier doing what I'm trying to think of doing if I'd got my paint in squirty bottles because I could just squirt it on a little bit easier maybe 
but never mind. I'll do up there in a second. Uh, yeah, probably better off to carry on with this small one instead of that larger one because I haven't got that much negative space, have I? But I'm really going to try and leave a little bit. So this colour that I'm using is very similar to the colour acrylic pen I just used. So it's, you know, certainly shouldn't stand out. The acrylic pen shouldn't come through and stand out and look um, as though it wasn't, you know, as though it wasn't meant to be there or as though it was a line. I, I will definitely fix it up so it's all good. As I said, I'm not too worried about the very edges at this minute because I can do those with my fingers. But that just gives me a really good indication of what I want to do in the centre. So easy peasy, you can just get your fingers. Now you know where your lines are and you can go over your edges with your fingers. Very simple, very easy, no dramas. And like I said, when I've finished and the painting's all dry, I could put those hexagons back on and use them as a stencil and then go back over with this paint or block to block it in to get my same kind of look. Wow. So I think that's good enough at the minute. If I need some extra paint on it, then I'll just put it on as required. But isn't that colour just beautiful? I really like that. Really like that. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to do one hexagon in um, sort of reds, orange and purple. And I'm going to just wiggle it everywhere. So just taking your time and, and just really enjoy what you're doing. That's what it's all about. You're in no rush, hopefully. You should be doing this when you've got time and patience. Um, look at that. That's a fluoro orange. These are global colours, by the way. That's a fluoro. And now I'm going to use the um, cool red. I think it's cool red. Yeah, cool red. So here we go. I'll do cool red. Do your wiggling. Just nice and relaxed. Trying to keep that shape. If it goes out of shape, then it doesn't matter. It just was an idea to do something a little bit different. The composition of it all, hopefully, will be good in the end. Okay. Put that reds in there. Hopefully it should pop your socks off. There we go. That's the cool red. I was going to add this red. I think this was an orange red. Just trying to find out. It's like an orange red or I may have mixed it myself. But I don't think it's really going to do anything for that particular paint. For this particular painting. So let's just give that a little bit of a whiz, a whiz bang. Round. Now I'm going to add some of the um, ultraviolet, ultraviolet in here. So this should really pop your socks off. Really do hope you guys are all going well. I know some different parts of the world are really having a hard time with what we're all going through. Um, than others we're, we're very lucky here in Australia we've really not had a bad experience too but I mean we can't really say that we have compared to other countries so um, we've been very lucky dodging the bullets as my husband calls it but um, if you're having a hard time of it all please um, yeah you need to seek some 
uh, if you need to seek a counselling, if you need to phone a friend, but please don't suffer in silence. This is the deep berry delicious that I make and I make it out of the cool red and um, cool red um, blob of phalo blue and then a good blob of um, a blob of black if you want it to go a lot darker so and then I'll put I will put some white in there it has got plenty in, so I'm really hoping that all sinks into the canvas and does its thing. So I'm going to just... This is just pre-made up white that um, I make up the same pouring medium. And the pouring medium recipe is in the drop-down box, as is there a link to videos of making my pouring medium and varnishing your work and tips and tricks videos for beginners so it's all there I don't know whether to do this one first and then get into the second one or do the second one oh what do you think guys now what colors have I got to do the second one just wanted to throw some different colors into the second one so um, maybe I will put the base down more so of the um, this is the very delicious it's like a very deep deep cherry berry or oh. difficult to explain but it usually works really lovely and dries really nice so let's hope that it does i've got to my naughty dog i've got to kind of keep it so as it goes with the other side but kind of looking at this because i've done this greeny blue it doesn't look as though it really goes that good with it i'm just gonna let my dog in because he will bark until i do you know boy he is a standard poodle and his name is benson and he likes to be in on everything don't you benny hey Thank you, Benny. Good boy. I will put no some gold. No, get out of town, you attention seeker. I'm going to put some gold in there. They probably are not going to go these colours, the two sides, because um, they're not going to go. But I am just doing them for demo demonstration. They might end up like really nice, but I don't think so. <laughs> I just do not think so. So that's a bit of gold in that side. Maybe I'll do this one side in more metallics. And so then you get a choice to, you can try those colors or you can try this. So this is the metallic, I think this is bronze. Because these colors have been made up quite a long time now. do and I've got a little bit of brown that I did put some gold in with the brown it was a burnt umber so this one's going to be a dark side so you might be a uh, bronzy browny goldy kind of color person then if so you're going to like this side and then if you like bright and uplifting colors then you're going to like my other side so not too worried about well <laughs> all right oh god i'll get some hairbrain ideas so i'm just this is just white and i'm just gonna pour it on all righty what i might do is use my straw they completely do not go together it's completely a mismatch a lot like a lot a lot of marriages but we'll give it a go let me see how they blow out I might put a bit of um this is just the titanium white with floetrol in it let's see if this gives me a nicer lacing
kind of losing the shape, but never mind. All good. Yeah. Let's get down this end here. Ugh. nose. I always get an itchy nose when I'm doing this. Why? I have no idea. But anyway, let's try it on here. Tried, obviously, I've not put so much paint on there, but the colours, oh, I've, I've completely gone haywire with the colours. Yeah, it would definitely work better if I'd done a smaller hexagon on a bigger canvas, but that's okay, you just try things. She knows when I'm doing that I have no idea. No idea. I'm just gonna push a push a, a piece of um, skewer down my hole of that because it wasn't coming out. So I will just use a little bit of um, soft plastic file divider to do some wispy bits. Yeah, the colours are lovely in their own right, but they're not nice together. <laughs> this and this is a no-no. Don't do it. Do one or the other, because they do not go together. They are not well matched. I don't know the technical terms. I'm not pretending that I know the technical terms for art entrepreneurs. So I just do what gives me pleasure. That's it, I do what gives me pleasure. So, I've done it. Let's move those things out of the way so I don't knock things over. Get rid of the little thing. I will try with my large balloon because if I like the metallic side, I will definitely give that a go with it on, on its own those colours and vice versa if I like the other side and the same for you I'm just giving you the options and you can do as you see fit so let's I've got the big balloon I'll just go in oh wow 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 and double wow that is beautiful okay I might stick with the one colour side <laughs> before I move over I think I just need to do the big balloon in the center and then I'll get my smaller balloon to do the around but I've just wiped the balloon off completely so I don't get those colors over here wow wow and double wow pretty pretty both sides are equally gorgeous they're just not nice together I don't believe completely do not go but you know Wow, lovely. Now, if you're having trouble with your balloon kissing, then walk away, leave your paint to dry off. 20 minutes, half an hour, then come back and do the balloon kissing when you back, your paint is a little bit tacky and you'll get a better result. 
if you're still not getting good results with your balloon kissing then you really need to look into the uh, consistency of your paint so if the paint is too thin you won't get a good balloon kiss it needs to be um, yeah like Goldilocks not too thin not too um, not too thick it has to be just right and that is just the colors are beautiful love it now I should have done two different videos one with these colours and um, another one with the other colours. But there you've got two choices here. That side certainly goes with the background, but I don't think this side does. So anyhow, but it is gorgeous. Now, I like leaving some of these colours just loose like that, not swiped or anything because then there's less chance of muddying up and look they just make the whole work pop that is gorgeous 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 okay let's go on the this yeah i mean it is so nice so i will definitely be trying these colors in two separate paintings have a nice big long canvas there and I kind of had an idea to do this kind of composition oh that's nice where it mixed this composition all the way down the canvas um, so I might get into that on the weekend if I get time but that's gorgeous and as if anybody that knows me and follows my channel you will know that I absolutely love working with a balloon. I love it. I get good results normally, not all the time. And I just love the effect. I mean, the hexagon has completely gone. <laughs> hexagon has gone. Oh dear. Um, yeah. But it's still probably a good idea, but if I kept to the same shades. Wow, I love it, I love it, and I hope you do too. I am not gonna do, I'm not gonna scrape or anything. It looks odd, because it's, maybe I'm gonna show my husband, I'll say this is you and I, completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, but we still do, we're still good together. Is that the, the word? We're not the same, we're completely different. We have different ideas, different views, but it still works for us. And as does, this painting does not work together, but um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm rabbling on now, so sorry. All right, I am going to finish it right there, and I really hope that you see what I was trying to get at, and I hope that you enjoyed my efforts. I really appreciate you guys that come back and watch all the time so appreciate you all and um yeah thank you this was a bit of a long video so i might try and chop it down so you don't have to endure my rabble but i will put photos when it's dry and i'll try and photo each side differently because you can see the beauty of each color and then you'll know which colors you would like to try for yourself so my lovely people until tomorrow bye for now take care